a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Reekiness Reekiness communi, the castor bean or castor royal plant, is a species of perennial flowering plant in the spurge family, Euphorbiaceae. It is the sole species in the monotypic genus, Reekiness, and subtribe, Ricinini. The evolution of castor and its relation to other species are currently being studied using modern genetic tools. It reproduces with a mixed pollination system which favors selfing by gate anogamy, but at the same time can be an outcrosser by anemophily or entomophily. Its seed is the castor bean, which, despite its name, is not a true bean. Castor is indigenous to the southeastern Mediterranean basin, eastern Africa, and India but is widespread throughout tropical regions. Castor seed is the source of castor oil, which has a wide variety of uses. The seeds contain between 40% and 60% oil that is rich in triglycerides, mainly ricinoline. The seed also contains ricin, a water-soluble toxin, which is also present in lower concentrations throughout the plant. An unrelated plant species, Fatsia japonica, is similar in appearance, but is from Japan. Description Rikinus communi can vary greatly in its growth habit and appearance. The variability has been increased by breeders who have selected a range of cultivars for leaf and flower colors, and for oil production. It is a fast-growing, suckering shrub that can reach the size of a small tree, around 12 meters, but it is not cold hardy. The glossy leaves are 15 long, long stalked, alternate, and palmate with 5 to 12 deep lobes with coarsely toothed segments. In some varieties they start off dark reddish purple or bronze when young, gradually changing to a dark green, sometimes with a reddish tinge. As they mature, the leaves of some other varieties are green practically from the start, whereas in yet others a pigment masks the green color of all the chlorophyll-bearing parts, leaves stems and young fruit, so that they remain a dramatic purple to reddish brown throughout the life of the plant. Plants with the dark leaves can be found growing next to those with green leaves. So there is most likely only a single gene controlling the production of the pigment in some varieties. The stems and the spherical, spiny seed capsules also vary in pigmentation. The fruit capsules of some varieties are more showy than the flowers. The flowers are born in terminal panicle-like inflorescences of green or, in some varieties, shades of red, monoecious flowers without petals. The male flowers are numerous, yellowish-green with prominent creamy stamens. The female flowers, born at the tips of the spikes, lie within the immature spiny capsules, are relatively few in number, and have prominent red stigmas. The fruit is a spiny, greenish capsule containing large, oval, shiny, bean-like, highly poisonous seeds with variable brownish mottling. Castor seeds have a warty appendage called the caruncle, which is a type of eleosome. The caruncle promotes the dispersal of the seed by ants. Nomenclature The name Reekiness is a Latin word for tick. The seed is so named, because it has markings and a bump at the end that resemble certain ticks. The genus Rekinus also exists in zoology and designates insects which are parasites of birds. This is possible because the names of animals and plants are governed by different nomenclature codes. The common name, castor oil, probably comes from its use as a replacement for castorium, a perfume base made from the dried perineal glands of the beaver. It has another common name, palm of Christ or palma Christi. That derives from castor oil's reputed ability to heal wounds and cure ailments. Medicinal uses Castor oil has many uses in medicine and other applications. An alcoholic extract of the leaf was shown, in lab rats, to protect the liver from damage from certain poisons. Methanolic extracts of the leaves of Rekinus communi were used in antimicrobial testing against eight pathogenic bacteria in rats and showed antimicrobial properties. The pericarp of Rekinus showed central nervous system effects in mice at low doses. At high doses mice quickly died. A water extract of the root bark showed analgesic activity in rats. Antihistamine 
and anti-inflammatory properties were found in ethanolic extract of Rikinus communi root bark. Other uses Extract of Rikinus communi exhibited acaricidal and insecticidal activities against the adult of Haemophysalis bispinosinoiman and Haematophagus fly hippoboscum maculata leech. The Bodo tribals of Bodoland, Assam, use the leaves of this plant to feed and rear the larvae of mugger and endi silkworms. Castor oil is an effective motor lubricant and has been used in internal combustion engines, including those of World War I airplanes, some racing cars and some model airplanes. It has historically been popular for lubricating two-stroke engines due to high resistance to heat compared to petroleum-based oils. It does not mix well with petroleum products, particularly at low temperatures, but the mix is better with the methanol-based fuels used in glow model engines. In total loss lubrication applications, it tends to leave carbon deposits and varnish within the engine. It has been largely replaced by synthetic oils that are more stable and less toxic. Jewelry is often made of castor beans, particularly necklaces and bracelets. Habitat, growth and horticultural uses Although Rikinus communi is indigenous to the southeastern Mediterranean basin, eastern Africa, and India, today it is widespread throughout tropical regions. In areas with a suitable climate, castor establishes itself easily where it can become an invasive plant and can often be found on wasteland. It is also used extensively as a decorative plant in parks and other public areas, particularly as a dot plant. In traditional bedding schemes, if sown early, under glass, and kept at a temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius until planted out, the castor oil plant can reach a height of two in a year. In areas prone to frost it is usually shorter, and grown as if it were an annual. However, it can grow well outdoors in cooler climates, at least in southern England and the leaves do not appear to suffer frost damage in sheltered spots, where it remains evergreen. It was used in Edwardian times in the parks of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, although not cultivated there. The plant grows wild in Southern California, notably Griffith Park in Los Angeles. Plant-Animal Interactions Rikinus communi is the host plant of the common castor butterfly, the eerie silk moth, and the castor semi-lupa moth. It is also used as a food plant by the larvae of some other species of Lepidoptera, including Hypercompambletoni and the nutmeg. Allergenic Potential Rikinus is extremely allergenic, and has an opal's allergy scale rating of 10 out of 10. The plant is also a very strong trigger for asthma, and allergies to Rikinus are commonplace and severe. The castor oil plant produces abundant amounts of very light pollen, which easily become airborne and can be inhaled into the lungs, triggering allergic reactions. The sap of the plant causes skin rashes. Individuals who are allergic to the plant can also develop rashes from merely touching the leaves, flowers, or seeds. These individuals can also have cross-allergic reactions to latex sap from the related heavy Brasiliensis plant. Toxicity The toxicity of raw castor beans is due to the presence of ricin. Although the lethal dose in adults is considered to be 4 to 8 seeds, reports of actual poisoning are relatively rare. According to the Guinness World Records, this is the world's most poisonous common plant. Symptoms of overdosing on ricin, which can include nausea, diarrhea, tachycardia, hypotension and seizures, persist for up to a week. However, the poison can be extracted from castor by concentrating it with a fairly complicated process similar to that used for extracting cyanide from almonds. If ricin is ingested, symptoms may be delayed by up to 36 hours, but commonly begin within 2-4 hours. These include a burning sensation in mouth and throat, abdominal pain, purging and bloody diarrhea. Within several days there is severe dehydration, a drop in blood pressure and a decrease in urine. Unless treated, death can be expected to occur within 3-5 days. However, in most cases a full recovery can be made. Poisoning occurs when animals, including humans, ingest broken seeds or break the seed by chewing. Intact seeds may pass through the digestive tract without releasing the toxin. 
The toxin provides the castor oil plant with some degree of natural protection from insect pests such as aphids. Ricin has been investigated for its potential use as an insecticide. The castor oil plant is also the source for undesalinic acid, a natural fungicide. Commercially available cold-pressed castor oil is not toxic to humans in normal doses, either internal or externally. Chemistry 3 terpenoids and a tocopherol related compound have been found in the aerial parts of Rikinus. Compounds named 19 hydroxycasbar 3,7,113N51, 6 alpha hydroxy 10 beta methoxy 7 alpha, 8 alpha e proxy 5 oxocasbon 20, 10 olide, 15 alpha hydroxyl up 20N31, and 3,4,4A, 8 8 tetra hydro 4A hydroxy 2,6,7,8 8 8 tetra methyl 2 2 H chromine 5, 8 dione were isolated from the methanol extracts of Rikinus communi by chromatographic methods. Partitioned H hexane fraction of Rikinus root methanol extract resulted in enrichment of two triterpenes, lupiol and ores 6 Na3,16 dione. Crude methanolic extract enriched N hexane fraction and isolates at doses 100 mg slash KGPO exhibited significant anti-inflammatory activity in carrageenan induced hind poedema model. Historical usage Castor seeds have been found in Egyptian tombs dating back to 4000 BC. The slow burning oil was used mostly to fuel lamps. Herodotus and other Greek travelers noted the use of castor seed oil for lighting, body ointments, and improving hair growth and texture. Cleopatra is reputed to have used it to brighten the whites of her eyes. The Ebers Papyrus is an ancient Egyptian medical treatise believed to date from 1552 BC, translated in 1872. It describes castor oil as a laxative. The use of castor bean oil in India has been documented since 2000 BC in lamps and in local medicine as a laxative, purgative, and cathartic in Anani, Ayurvedic, Siddha, and other ethno-medical systems. Traditional Ayurvedic and Siddha medicine considers castor oil the king of medicinals for curing arthritic diseases. It is regularly given to children orally, for deworming. The ancient Romans had a variety of medicinal-slash-cosmetic uses for both the seeds and the leaves of Rikinus communi. The naturalist Pliny the Elder cited the poisonous qualities of the seeds, but mentioned that they could be used to form wicks for oil lamps, and the oil as a laxative and lamp oil. He also recommends the use of the leaves as follows, in Haiti it is called Mascreti, where the plant is turned into a red oil that is then given to newborns as a purgative to cleanse the insides of their first stools. Castor seed and its oil have also been used in China for centuries, mainly prescribed in local medicine for internal use or use in dressings. Castor oil was used as an instrument of coercion by the paramilitary black shirts under the regime of Italian dictator Benito Mussolini, as well as by the Spanish Civil Guard in Francoist Spain. Dissidents and regime opponents were forced to ingest the oil in large amounts, triggering severe diarrhea and dehydration, which could ultimately cause death. This punishment method was originally thought of by Gabriele D'Annunzio, the Italian poet and fascist supporter, during the First World War. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?